Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's you. How's it going, my babies? Welcome to the channel. I bet you know who I am, right? You just so ridiculous? No, you're wrong. It's missing something. Masters of Deadass. Ridiculous. Alright, keep that in mind. Let you know what we're gonna be doing today. We're doing a top 5 video. Right. I'm gonna be asking why I'm wearing a mask today. Well, if you had no idea, then uh, there is a pandemic going on, bro. That's why I'm wearing a mask. Don't wear a mask, you might contract uh, the virus and stuff. Wait, what's that? I'm trolling. <laughs> You're right, I am trolling. The reason why I'm uh, wearing a mask today is because I want to save my face reveal. Remember in the first video where I said that I'll do a face reveal maybe in the future? Once we get like six, seven subs, not six, seven subs, six, seven digit subs. Now we're talking about like hundred thousand, million. All right, so we're gonna be talking about Bebe today. So, uh, do you ever wonder why I call you Bebe? Why I refer to you as Bebe, my guys? I mean, I am the master of Douglas himself, so I must know what it means, right? Right? Hmm. Alright then, first, let's define what a baby really is. Pull out a Google bar and we'll see what the dictionary says. So, uh, um, it says here that babies mean little things. Creatures, little babies, creatures that uh, crawl on the floor and can't walk. Huh. They can't talk either, but uh, they pretty much act like babies. But what does a baby mean? Alright, uh, let's we'll, we'll see here. So, uh, a baby means the same, actually. Baby is actually a French word for babies? Wait, what? So, the, so they're the same thing? Nah, it can't be real. It can't be true. What the hell is this dictionary saying BS things, man? It's a scam. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to this crap. This dictionary is false. Don't listen to it. I have my own definition of baby. Let me provide for you what an actual baby really means. Alright? Alright. All right. So, baby means an older individual. Alright? When you, when you start to walk, you start to talk, when you start to think for yourself, you know, when you're a little bit more independent, mature, you're actually. Not a baby. Obviously, yeah. you're a baby. For me, at least, that's what I mean. I mean, yeah. So, like to sum it up, a baby means, for me, no, a grown-up dude. Yeah. No, that was anticlimactic. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That's not the point. Point is. How do you really be? What, what, what am I talking about? Point is, there's actually no point. The point? Alright, alright, doesn't matter what babies mean, whatever. It's not as interesting as you might thought it to be, but you know, the thing is, the point is, we get to learn. What the baby? How to become a better baby? Okay. How to become a better? Baby. And I prepared top five tips for you. All right. So number one, how to become a better baby? Put on a head. Shit. Do you recall anything in your life? 
that you did, that you did, that you didn't plan ahead. What do you think happened? Did you succeed? Or did you fail? Well, one example of this is preparing at a birthday party, alright? What do you do in a birthday party? Let me ask you. What do you do in a birthday party? You prepare, right? You prepare stuff so that you can surprise the uh, birthday guy. Right, you prepare stuff. But what happens if you don't prepare? Little Johnny will go into the home not knowing that nobody prepared for his birthday party. What do you think happens? He's gonna cry, right? He's gonna cry like a little baby? Baby? No. That's not how we do things here, alright? We plan ahead. So if we plan, we can actually save that disaster that little Johnny suffered. Alright? Hear me out. You know, when I was a kid back then, I used to take tons of tests. Uh, math tests, English tests, Filipino tests. Yeah, I learned Filipino subject. And guess what? I sucked at it. Very much. I failed so hard. That when you cry, it's not tears. It's icebergs. And those icebergs can crack balls. Or, oh, was it wasn't funny? Or, whatever. So, yeah, that, that's how I failed. But the thing is, I didn't plan at that time. So if you were to plan what actually happened at my exams, then this is how it actually would go. I know that I won't be able to pass the test, so what, what, what would I do? Plan ahead, alright? Develop some kind of a cheating, super ultra hard, no, super ultra easy type to cheat. So that you will uh, freaking pause. Not saying you cheat, alright? It's just an example. Okay? And this applies to everyday life. Generally speaking, if you plan ahead, then shit ain't gonna happen. Unless it does happen. And then what? Well, there is always a plan B. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. <laughs> plan number two. Fight for what you love, alright? Do things that you don't really love, then you won't have the motivation for it. You, know? you will be genuinely uninspired, sad, empty. Do you want to feel like that, bro? I mean, I, I, I felt like that before. You know? I used to, like, did some not cool things in the past. Uh, I was genuinely not inspired because I did something that I didn't love and you know finding inspiration for that is really hard it can drain you sometimes so be sure if you're doing that specific thing that you are doing right now whether it's playing games doing YouTube reading a book making manga watching anime please make sure that you are doing what you love so you won't have to suffer like me and uh, yeah be happy okay part three transcending the system Alright, what does he mean by transcending the system? What does that mean? Uh, to simplify it, it's do the, do the things that you're good at at the best way possible that you can ever do. For example, 
if you play guitar then what is your goal it's to be the best right no not really <laughs> then you suck you trash you very have a quite shallow goal don't you want to become the best at what you're doing the best at what you're good at man don't you want that to succeed to see your past struggles look in the future and see how good you've become you know wouldn't that make you happy of course it does so transcending the system can also mean overcoming challenges have you ever faced a challenge in your life have you actually thought that you could never overcome those challenges don't worry you're not alone you know before I also feel the same I also thought that this challenge that I'm about to overtake is pretty damn hard how in the heck am I gonna surpass it you know something it takes good will strong strength and continuous grinding if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm talking about a game that I used to play it had one of these hard levels that you uh, have to beat and no matter how hard I try, I just kept failing failing every single day until one day I actually transcended the system I transcended the game I beat it I reached floor 100 and beat the strongest boss you have any idea how that actually feels it's so satisfying bro if you're a gamer this also translates in real life imagine you're trying to strive for a goal that you want become a doctor but you find that it's too hard to overcome maybe you find it hard to overcome on exams but remember this don't ever lose hope in yourself if you believe in yourself I know you'll get there it takes courage to this don't ever forget that <laughs> All right. so where are we at? part 4? right so tip number 4 don't ever underestimate your skills once you reach on a certain skill you might begin to doubt yourself am I ever good enough to be called this? Maybe I'm not a great artist after all. Maybe I'm not a great gamer after all. Maybe I'm not a great singer after all. Maybe I'm just not good enough for this. No, don't be like baby. Be baby. Own your skills, bro. That's the only way that you could ever improve. Keep pushing yourself to the limits. Own that you are good. I am team. Hell, I see people who don't know how to freaking draw and still they say I am the best drawer. What the hell does that mean? It means they get confidence. Even people that don't have less skill, they already have confidence in themselves. They believe in themselves. And what about you? You already have the skill. All you need is the confidence. So don't ever doubt what you're capable of, bro. You're so capable of so much more. So much more than this. So much more than doubt. Who knows? Maybe you'll become the greatest singer, artist, YouTube, anime, voice actor, gamer. All the things that you ever dreamed of. You don't have to be afraid. Alright? Have the confidence. Don't doubt yourself. Show them what you're made of, my baby. Don't be a scaredy cat, baby, baby. All right. Last advice for the day, and that is to take good care of yourselves. All right. Don't ever put your body in harm's way. Or your health, your mental health, your physical health, uh, your brain health, 
Yeah, health. I'm just I'm talking about health in general. Don't ever harm yourself. Take good care of yourself. Huh? Like you can start by, uh, let's say you're eating food, smoking, drinking. I mean, drink's fine as long as it's in moderation. But just say smoking. You know that thing is bad, bro. You don't have to put it in your body. Look. Look ahead in the future, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, 40 years from now. Will you still be there to see yourself grow as a human being, to see your skills improve? No, you won't be there. You'll be six feet underground, baby. Oh, no, that's a sad ending. Think about your family, think about your friends. Would you want to spend more time with them? I think that's a yes. So if you want to spend more time, take good care of yourself. You live longer. You live happier. You don't have to think of what's the next pill I'm gonna take tomorrow. If you're healthy, it means you're happy. All right. You don't have to worry about treatments, medicine, Let's take it every day. You have good health. You have a good life. And what better way to spend life than living with the ones you love? Just so, so take good care of yourself. Otherwise, how are you ever gonna accomplish all the six tips I told you if you die early? Hell, hell no, baby. I don't want you to die early, baby. I want you to have a happy, fulfilling, and loving life. Together with me. Well, maybe together with your love. And maybe with me. Who knows? I could be your loved one. To recap about what I said on the top five tips of how to become a better baby number one one ahead number two fight for what you love number three transcend the system number four don't ever underestimate your skills and last but not the least always always make it a top priority Take good care of yourselves. Alright? Stay strong out there. I'll see you next time. Boy, boy. In this world. The world. In this the, the world though, that we live in. Alright? A few more coming up. In the next video. Maybe not the next video. Maybe a part 2 video. But not the next. Necessarily the next video but yeah stay tuned do this